Hi, my name is Sydney Rang. I'm Brianna Matskis, and today is our Sunday box opening. Hey, happy Hi. Sunday. <laughs> All right, so let's see. We should uh, start by... Uh, Tracy scrap bags. So last Wednesday, if you watched, we had said in the beginning, we said, oh, we have a special surprise at the end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And our video was 49 minutes long. And if you started watching at 5 p.m., we would think maybe that the first yeah. one would be purchased at 5.49. The first one was purchased at 5.03. Mm -hmm. And the last one was purchased at 5.00. 53 so <laughs> they sold frenzy. out it was a that's frenzy good. so those of you guys that waited till the end thank you so much that's really i can tell who you are because it's like oh no they're sold out it's like oh yeah you watched to the end yeah. so we don't have any you know major surprises this time so you can watch leisurely hang out with us yes. because we like it that you know we chat and you listen and you don't you know go right to the website and shop <laughs> i'm sorry about that but but FYI, uh, Tracy is busy putting more together. Those are always so popular. Yeah, they're pretty fun. They're pretty fun. They're fun to, to get, fun to sew with and play with. So, And um, for the rest of you, if you don't know who we are, we are a mother-daughter duo. We have a quilt shop in Central Washington State. We've been here for 25 years. We have um, over 10,000 bolts of fabric mm -hmm. that you can find on fabricpatch.net. We have the YouTube channel. We have a retreat center. We have a pattern line. Uh, we do cruise um, quilting, and uh, what else do we do? And twice a week, we open, there is a pile of yeah. boxes. <laughs> we open boxes uh, to show you all of the brand new stuff that comes into the shop. Mm -hmm. And um, there's all always tons of other stuff uh, you can go search for. Yeah. You have a whole shop, shop full of goodness. A whole shop full of stuff. And the other thing that we always like to mention is be sure, fairly routinely, um, be sure to check the uh, clearance fabric yes. because we are making room for the new stuff by moving I've added it to more clearance. Since Wednesday, if you checked Wednesday check. for box opening because it's just like your thing, mm -hmm. um, check. I've added since then because I had to make room. I had to make room. And it's really good stuff. I don't think there's any old fabric in our store. No, and it's pretty recent. The only reason it gets shipped to clearance is there's nobody left of that collection. Yeah. So it's not always even the ugliest piece. No. I, we don't <laughs> buy anything ugly. There is a, it's really yeah. good stuff. So yeah. um, it's just because there might not be anything left. Or it might be that you know it doesn't fit right in the cubby, so three people have to take the dive. Yeah. And there is more of the collection if there's something else. But majority of the time, it's just what's left, and they got to move because someone else needs to move in. We so. oftentimes will get um, the Moto Collections, they do something called a low-cal where you get 20 bolts of what they've picked. Or we'll get the entire collection of something. And I think like we're going to open a low-cal. I have my Moto boxes oh, you first. To see yeah. But then what happens is all of it is sold except for like a few pieces four bolts so it might be something that was just opened at box opening a month ago yeah and it's already on clearance so be sure and check that out yeah so. there's good things in there really good things in there so there's a million bucks i have a dog behind me is going to bolt in about two minutes i know i don't know what she's doing she's pouting. why are you back here i don't know her nose she's is in the pouting. corner her nose is in the corner she took a picture Sorry. i have no idea what she's I, I wonder if Maisie is eating something and not sharing well, she was. She was eating apple bits this morning, and she was trying to share. <laughs> Lizzie was just sitting there panting like she usually does, and Maisie was just putting them in her mouth. Wasn't even letting Lizzie take them. She was just, <laughs> oh, putting them in, 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 her, in mouth. her mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Pass the teeth on the tongue. She won't, no. eat, uh, she won't eat apples. So, she yeah. won't eat chips or crackers, which is kind of See, weird. See, my dogs will eat anything, and I don't know if it's because you're them being raised with babies you get whatever falls on the floor um but we had a pan of um broccoli and carrots um and cauliflower because it was gonna go bad so i roasted it and whatever and um there's a little bit left in the pan so i saved what i could it's like oh the dogs can just clean it jezebel the new puppy she ate it all all of it all of it the carrots the broccoli the cow she didn't care carrots you know peas all of that is really good for a dog yeah and but I think that the reason that Lizzie won't eat anything even remotely questionable is because Lizzie lives alone. That's true. I mean, Lizzie There's doesn't have to... Nobody fighting for it. No, but I think with the dogs, I know that when we used to have a couple of dogs, one would eat it just so the other one couldn't get it. Yeah. And yeah. so I wonder if... But Maybe. Lizzie has always been a lone dog. Yeah. She's never had a... 
I don't know. I, I mean, it maybe could be with her and Roe, but Roe is such a dainty eater. She would starve in the wild. Just she would. keel over yeah. because she wouldn't eat that enough. Ooh, no. there's an ant on it. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I don't want that. And then our outside stray cats who, you know, run the roost outside, they will eat anything. Mm -hmm. So if the dogs walk away or are afraid of them, they don't get the hot dog anymore because the cat just stole it. <laughs> I mean, and maybe, maybe it's, you know, starve or eat it. Oh, um, this is like this cute is little camping cute. thing. It's just the great outdoors. Just in time for camping. Yeah. Oh, Look good. That cute one. Oh, that's really cute. Who is this? So cute. Okay, Stacy. Oh, I can never say her name. Oh, Sue? Stacy, yeah, Stacy Sue. H S U Stacy. I've got um, two big boxes. Look, maybe like a. Maybe oh, I a, bet that's a panel. Is that a pre she is known mm. for her big panels. Whether sorry, I keep stepping on you. Whether it's my guess is it's probably some sort of a camper bag with things in it. She's you. I mean, she's the yeah, one that does all those little does. softy toys. Possibly a book, a book or a. Those of you guys that follow bag. her on Instagram, you already know. I'm sure it's something what fantastic. it is. We should look it all up. Really and then fast. I also think I have a pre-cut. Uh, box over there. So we're going to get all these open, all the plastic up, and then we'll be right back. This is really okay. cute. We it got better as you open boxes. And <laughs> you're giggling reading it. So um, it, it is adorable. Yes. And kind of one of those all ages kind of one, you know, because sometimes mm -hmm. you can get wilderness or animal stuff that's really only kid appropriate or, or mostly adult. This is, this is really This is nice. everything. And the colors are very modern. I like they the are. colors. Yeah. It's really, really pretty. It could be a cabin quilt, yeah. a vacation home quilt, a lake Graduation, house. It doesn't matter. A car quilt. It's all fun. If matter. there's someone who's outdoorsy, it's yeah. yeah, super great. And it's the color of outside. So if it gets a little rubbed through the dirt or gets some dust on it, no one cares. The grass stand's going to blend right in. And of course it is. Yes. And the little super boot print. Cute. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Did you look online to see what else she had done with it? No. Oh, sorry. Oh. If we find something that's oh, awesome, you, we'll add it. I'll, yeah, I usually look at it before I edit it, edit our video. Mm -hmm. So that if there's anything I want to show you, I can throw it up throw there. It in there. Um, <clears throat> and uh, she did do something awesome for her panel. It is actually a cute little backpack. Um, one of those little drawstring oh, backpacks. I can see this. Um, you can kind of oh, see how it finishes oh. right here. And they made their own strap out of here, but you could use webbing, you could use cording, you wouldn't have to make it out of fabric. I don't know if I would, I think I would do almost like a rope. Well, the other make thing it. too is you can even use the cotton um, webbing or whatever on the inside of that fabric yeah, so that you make it strong, fabric, but it makes it nice and strong depending on what they're putting in it. But, mm -hmm. um, but you can see um, part of the panel includes all of Super the directions detailed. and very yeah. detailed about how you're laying everything out and all of the pieces um, for mm -hmm. everything. And look how cute that is. What's the yeah. little fish for? It's really cute. He might just be a little soft toy to put inside the bear Aww. because you have a little zipper pocket right underneath his snout. Yeah. So that's probably where his fish goes is right in his little tummy. <laughs> so it's super cute. And I bet this little good. mouth of his is probably the lining of your pocket. Oh, yeah. I oh, think it's sure. super cute. And of course, she's got the little three-dimensional ears. If you choose to put them on, even if you had no ears, you would still know it's a cute little bear. Well, I think the little three-dimensional things, that's not super hard to do. You're just no. going to sew it, turn it right side These out, are press just, it, put it in the seam. Yeah, super, super easy. easy. These are just as easy as the soft books, really. I mean, I know it's sewing and not quilting, mm -hmm. um, but it's the same thing. And a little straight zipper, mm -hmm. no problem. What a fun thing, to to do with... Um, you know, grandkids or whatever. You have somebody that wants to sew. So cute. It would be, yeah. It would be yeah. kind of fun. Super fun. So that's the panel. Cute, cute. Is the cute little like zipper it. backpack. See, and it's funny because that's what makes you think that it would be fun for kids, but I wouldn't have necessarily thought that this was a kid line. Yeah. No. You know, I think that it's really cute. And, um, and we'll show you also, uh, it also, uh, we did get the, <coughs> excuse me, the two and a half inch strips. <coughs> Sorry, we got the uh, five inch squares, the ten inch squares, the two and a half inch Ooh, the little squares, the little, little guys, and then of course, um, fat quarters. So, if you are interested in any of those, <coughs> let's get kind of limited quantities of those, but it's adorable. I love the colors, I love the olive green, I love the blue. Yeah, they're really good. I color. love it, love it. <coughs> Sorry. 
All right, so let's look at this up close. So um, this is in that rich, rich brown, and you can see what it is. It's just there's tents and cabins and oars and canoes. And I love that it's not directional. No, not at all. Yeah. No. It is really nice. So, and this is in a couple of different colors. And then here is just kind of a, it's a really nice tone on tone. It's kind of a soft, um, this is that soft parchment color. And then this is, gosh, what color? It's kind of a greenish brown. It's kind of the color that permeates this whole line, but really nice as a background. This is that same print we saw in brown in that gorgeous red. And that's that campfire red, you know, like it's the same color as those, um, the enamel wear is really what it is, I think. And then this one is the same thing, uh, tone on tone with all of the little pine cones and the leaves. And then, oh, that is a perfect plaid. That is a perfect plaid. Perfect plaid. This is the only plaid in the line that we have this really nice And again, nice it's because we got the locale. So you might have other plaids sure. in red, maybe a blue in your yeah. flat quarter or your layer cake, but yeah. this is the one we ended up with. Yeah, for yardage. Yes. Again, really nice with the uh, pine cones and the leaves in that really nice burnt orange. This piece again, which I love in the green. Yeah, that piece is super good. It's just a nice piece. And there's a lot of color. This is the one that we've been seeing, but this is in multicolor. And again, that kind of that soft enamel blue. I feel like, you know, we see this color a lot in camp wear. And then this I one. Know. I know it. What a fun way if you wanted to um, fussy cut those little campsites out. Sure. Again, hope floats. I feel like I've been saying hope yeah. floats a bunch lately. It's just a really good Super great. Pattern. I think this yeah. whole collection would also be super yeah. cool in timber. Yeah. We haven't even got to the best Timber. Piece no. No. <laughs> this but. is the same piece. This is directional. So this is the kind of that um, olive green. And then here it is in that really nice blue. And then here is that same piece with the brown See, I love background. One. I know. What a great backing, too. I Even know. if, you know, you're just looking something to back a cabin quilt or a camping quilt, these are great backs. Yeah. And then this one, this is fun. We're going to show you this close-up in another one. But, um, in fact, let me start with this one. This is the best one. This is just so fun. I started reading it thinking, oh, well, that's we fun We were labels. just giggling. They are fun labels. It is fun labels. So yeah, read them the raccoon advertisement. Where is the right here? You right see here. it on your side. You read he's it reading, to them. He's facing you though. Oh, he's facing me. Um, it's R T Raccoon and Son Private Eyes, specializing in food burglary, missing family, and revenge. <laughs> <laughs> And then read the fox one. Uh, uh, call Sly Fox today. SQ Fox Inquiry. We can help with animal control, hit and run, and trespassing. <laughs> <laughs> and then where's the squirrel? The squirrel. Oh, the right, squirrel Ben, this one's good. for you. you see the squirrel? squirrel. Oh, Harvest, just, yeah. yeah, Harvesting and storage. Honest and reliable. Um, and then what does it say? Providing a perimeter... Nut harvest and storage established 1876. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that fun? I love Very that they made it quirky. Cute. And, yes. Sweet. And uh, uh, looking for love, contact lone wolf ma matchmaking. <laughs> <laughs> it is so cute. Oh, I think it is awesome. I know. So this would be really good as a timber quilt. If you don't know what it is, when we're done here, we'll go get one and hold it up for you to see. But the same thing, just to do a great big piece and then do these pieces around it. Or it would if be uh, dad needs a camping apron, yeah. Yeah. a really fun one. Yeah. This is the same as that. It's just kind of tone on tone out of that kind of brownish, I don't know, tan, yeah. I guess is what that is. And then, um, but that's the only one of those. It's just this one and this one. Yeah. Super <clears throat> awesome. And then this is just kind of a toss, not directional. I love that they have the targets. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Fishing stuff games. and all of that stuff. So there's with the cream background, we have the brown background. We have the blue background. Really, really nice. And then one more. Um, this one should have been oh, the yeah, other way. Campsites. And then this is the other campsites with the cream background. Oh, so, I love it. I know. We'll go grab a, before we move this too far, yeah, we're, we're going to go grab a timber. Oh, hey. Oh, Brittany's here with a hand in it. So let's see. Brittany, come and help me hold it. And remember what uh, April 1st, uh, Brittany will be all set up in the front. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, 
No kidding. <laughs> it's no a real kidding. thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, actually, no, you'll be setting up, but you're not going to mm -hmm. be ready until April 15th. Yeah. yeah. Right. April 15th. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this is um, this is timber. This is Brianna's pattern, and so you start in the inside. Uh, I think that the pattern calls for a 12 and a half inch pattern because then she tells you the exact size for you know the light log cabin blocks, the dark log cabin first round, big. I mean, uh, there's three light sides, uh, three dark sides, but of course you could make it a little bit larger by just starting with a little bit larger size. And if you've ever made a log cabin block, just make your log cabin block. You don't have to follow her measurements. I mean, she gives you the measurements based on 12 and a half inch center. Mm -hmm. But anyway, it's just a fun quilt for fabrics that you really want to show off and um, that really kind of steal the show. So anyway, super fun. All right, we're going to clean this up and then we have a couple of kind of fun small boxes that we want to open. Okay, we first have a fun little box from Melinda from Oregon. Um, I already opened it because that was super exciting. It was came to me. It came to Brianna. Things don't get addressed to me. So I opened it as soon as I got it. I have not yet seen it. It's cute. So Did you she wrote a whole little love note um, that she always that. Yeah. So she um, said I was always the room parent, the room grandparent, the favorite auntie. So I always had fun stuff. I do hope you are not a minimalist because she this is box not. is full of stuff for you. I am not. Robert, wish I was, but my life, I just no. can't. And with this, with kids, I think it's hard to be. You know what's funny? I'm just going to say to know. that for just one second is that our husbands want us to be minimalists, but I'm going to say I have far less stuff than he does. I was going to say, I don't know if dad and can do it. <laughs> I mean, they save every single little, you know, um, what is that thing that we teased, that we would tease him about for forever and now... I think he finally threw it away, but it was like from a 1975 Ford and it was a, oh, yeah. a, a, a headlight or uh, a, yeah, a headlight. It's like, uh, why do you need that? You don't even have that truck. Yeah, now, I might need it. Now he's you hanging. Don't need it. <laughs> you registers. don't need it. I know. <laughs> all of the, and he, he, you should see all of the drawers for all of the, he separates all of the nuts and the bolts and the yeah. washers and the things. But well, I would his say, defense, when our local hardware store went out of business, him and his brother went in and bought a whole bunch of stuff. Dad bought the whole PVC area and um, the, him the and fasteners. David separated the parts part, you know, where you can get the bolts and the screws and the Okay, bits but that's my whole point is that we Why do have, you need more? <laughs> right. We have our own hardware store. Do you know you have to go shop. in there? They have grommets. He's got D rings. He's got O rings. In his? Yes. Oh, I've been in there before. He's got, I have been in there shopping. And I get hardware. caught every time when I go in there for first hardware. He so has three inch if rings. If your husband has ever had the ace hardware, he has purse hardware in there. He does. Go in his little parts section. He has stuff. Start every shopping. time I go in there and shop, he thinks that then he has the right to go into my sewing room and get my rotary cutter or something else. So I have to kind <laughs> of be sneaky about, about it. Just bribe Hugo tapes. But yeah, I don't I'm going to give I know, this, I know And I'm going to take what I want. For this. I know. <laughs> but then he wants to know where that Hugo tape came from. And is there other things in my sewing room that he might want? No, there's not. But I know. I know. <laughs> I just don't know why he has to go to Ace Hardware every day. Well, he shouldn't have to. No. They should be coming to him. <laughs> So, right. <laughs> anyway, anyway, she's not a minimal. No, 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 not at all. Um, so I'm sorting through stuff and thought maybe you could use for Wyatt Harper, Maisie, even Eliza and her siblings. Being a working mom and, mom and keeping the kids entertained is tough. I know from experience. Yeah. I always had a ba a boy at work and at home of little a box. I'm sorry, a box at work and at home of little surprises for a reward when ouches happened. Aww. I no longer have any wee ones, mm -hmm. so I thought of you as I was downsizing. Aww. It's an odd assortment, but I think you'll be okay with it. There's a tiny box with your name on the bottom, Melinda. Oh, that's so cool. So nice. Yes. That is so nice. Put a little card in there. Fun little things. Yeah. That is fun. The kids really, and you know what's funny is that I think we've told this story before that um, I never ever, when the kids were growing up, they never went to McDonald's. We never ever went through the McDonald's drive through I didn't want yeah. them to know anything about that or anything about chicken nuggets because we traveled a lot. We would go up to the cabin yeah. all the time and we would do things. So I would do their own little lunch bag and I made my own little happy, happy meal. My kids thought that I had invented that. So I had their own little bag with a bag of chips. There was probably a cookie. I there do was with a my kids. Yeah, yeah, and then there was a toy out of the bottom of their toy box that I would find and put in there. And they were so surprised and excited <laughs> every time. Oh my gosh! I love this. I used to have one just like this and I loved it. 
yeah, well, fun. Now you have another one. Yeah. And so anyway, we did that all the time because, you know, yeah, we just didn't need to do it. And deal with I do with my kids when we go places. Mm-hmm. And even um, we're filming today. It's actually Friday. Harper and Robert are derby fishing uh, at the Quincy Lakes today. And I had packed oh. her a little thing with some toys. <laughs> some surprises. Does she really need that? She's going to be yes. bored. A girl on a boat? Like, come on. Yeah. I mean, is, yeah. if you don't passing people, she doesn't have anybody to talk is she to. Gonna, she's not going to touch the worms or the fish, right? Well, uh, assuming she's going to catch a fish. Do you think? No. I don't know. Robert will probably get her to talk to it, to at least take a picture with one. She's going to be bored. You can't, That girl will talk the entire time. And she's going to talk the entire time. So hopefully. <laughs> this might be the first and only. Yeah. She, she goes I'm only. really glad that Robert and her are having their little special time. Um, because I think it's important. But. I think he'll realize she's a she's a lot. She's a lot. Which she's really hilarious. Funny is when she, she, but she, she, talks she is the whole hilarious. Time. She talks constantly, and even when you say we were trying to play a game the other day because she just <laughs> would not stop. No. It was constant, constant. <laughs> so then it's like, okay, Harper, we're gonna play a game. We're gonna try to keep you quiet for two minutes, and then she's like, okay. Well, I'm not gonna talk very much. So she uh, like she whispering. It's not talking. <laughs> it's still talking. It's still uh, yeah, or humming. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. So she's definitely a praise girl. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm not talking. See, yeah, that's Harper. So rewards are a good thing in our house oh, for everybody. Oh, look. So little purses. Oh, oh gems. My gosh, full of stuff. She's a, quite the crafter. Oh, fun. Little bag. It'd be fun to have like a little, you know, treasure chest. Back there. Oh my gosh, these are a great ruler, things. Markers. Washable markers. The curly marker. straws. Curly straws. So, Pipe cleaner. Wow. Little cup. Fun. Sticky notes. Wow. She will put these to good use. Yes. Yes. This is cute. Wow, what a fun box. A disco light. <laughs> Woohoo. <laughs> Stress ball. That's why I have to put my glasses on. I thought it said Bud Light on it. <laughs> Look at all these oh, stickers. Oh, wow. These are great. Wow, what a fun box. Snap bracelets. Snap bracelets. There's fun wow. stuff in here. Pair of kid scissors, jewelry. Mm, she loves jewelry. We have a Hot little one. wheels. Come here. You need something, Aurora? <laughs> Aurora is here. Inflatable balloons. Aurora is Harper's cousin, Jordan and Brittany's youngest, the only brunette in the family. Of <laughs> <laughs> Why are you shy? Are you being shy? No. Go now. get Maisie. Maisie will show you. Go how get it goes. Maisie. She'll pick something. <laughs> oh, look at that. There's some oh. shells. Oh, my God. Oh, now you're interested, huh? Went to the beach. You went to, you went to the, the beach? beach? Look how cute these are. There's some great stuff in here, Melinda. I love this. Wow. Um, I buy cat toys all the time for my kids. <laughs> No, 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 I'm just saying. It's true. And it's even true. plush, some of the dog toys my kids love. A minion puzzle. These are oh, fantastic. Fun. Gosh, totally. there is a ton. That was a big box. Harper will love. Oh, and Scrabble pieces. We've started to play like little Scrabble stuff with Wyatt yeah. to help him spell. Yeah. Um, and so it's and he's of course a game person, super competitive. So it's fun to do um, Scrabble with him because he's slowly learning. But yeah, what really a fun, fun stuff. box. Love it. That is so really, fantastic. really nice. Thank you so much. What's Melinda's last name? I need to know who this is. Okay. Henry. From, From Aragon, Aragon, Oregon. 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 Aragon. I don't know. I don't Tracy, know where is Aragon? Oregon. Aragon, I Oregon. I've heard that one. I R R I G O N. Oregon. It's called Oregon. Oh. Down by Hermiston. Oh, oh you okay. are a ways away. Love it. Oregon, Oregon. <laughs> like, did you make that up? <laughs> Love it. Oregon. Whoa, Hi. here comes Maisie. She said, what? What did I hear? Come here. Come here, Maisie. Come here. She said, wait, the camera's on. Come here. She said, wait, I have to say hello to my people. Come here. We were talking on, um, I don't know if it was an email message or texting or someone. Oh, yeah, it was from, um, can you say hi? Uh, Marie Williams. Hi. She <laughs> wants a live Daisy, uh, a live Maisie Cam. Oh, right. Wow. She's a lot. I mean, okay. So the, what She's you have fun. to realize is in her playroom, she plays really good by herself and super cute. She does. But then she will all of a sudden, like fainting goat, just fall asleep somewhere. 
<laughs> just <laughs> she does. Yeah, the other day I had to take a picture and send it. Mom wasn't here, and hey, can you find the baby? She was in, so we have these little like 15 inch cubes that are all in her playroom to put things away. She was in one with her minky soft book, <laughs> totally asleep. <laughs> She's like, yeah, what do you do? Whoop, see? Ooh. She's like, how'd you do that? <laughs> but she's yeah, adorable. Yeah, she is. She just falls asleep anywhere. Just, yep. Ha! Hey, don't hit me. You think you hit me. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to do. You <laughs> slap someone with it. She says, yeah, I can get used to that. <laughs> 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 All right, we have another um, fun box. Let's see. We'll yeah, we'll go grab it. We'll go get Aurora something out of the fun box and put them back to playing. Can you say bye? Say bye. Can you say bye. Okay, we'll see you later. Come and say goodbye. Can you blow a kiss? Blow any kisses? She says, no, We've worked on blowing a kiss, but when someone blows her a kiss, she acts like she's eating it. She goes, <laughs> She's looking at me. She wants to slap me. And you did. Would you slap, slap you with this? I'm going to slap you. Look at that. All right. We'll be right back with another fun box. <laughs> okay. This is a super fun box. This is from uh, Bond. Rosalie Bond. <laughs> Not James. Not James. <laughs> James <is the aunt. laughs> um, so, uh, uh, Rosalie is one of our um, instructors for the bag class. Uh, Rosalie has made tons and tons and tons, so she is coming to stay with us and help us. Uh, so Rosalie and I and Brianna will all be out there together. So the bag class, the first one that we did, um, uh, filled up. I think it was the first retreat to fill up, and so then we added a second one. Um, I know that the second one uh, that week is kind of difficult for people, so we already still have a waiting list for the first one, mm -hmm. but there is room in the second one. There's not very many pe very many spots, and I suppose at some point here pretty soon, maybe we'll show you guys what the three projects are, but you're making three, we're having three different trunk shows, and you're making three different bags. Um, there will be a kit for everything um, mm -hmm. so that you don't have to worry about findings or um, stuff. We have some, oh, and we have a really cool, well, there's some really fun extra surprises that you don't even know about yet. Uh, thanks to Lori Gilmartin and her awesome. bevy of friends. Um, but anyway, uh, in that retreat, we're making three different bags on three different days, kind of progressing along. And this one is the bag that we picked for day three. And here it is, the prototype. So yes. um, it's called the poolside tote. It is not our pattern, but that is cute. Isn't it cute? I hadn't seen it all the way done. So this is um, us first seeing it. But we picked a couple of different patterns, um, but we kind of thought that a great big um, bag was something that everybody needed to make. And um, this is cute. And we I really like this one because it just focuses on being just a great big, huge bag. It has some great reinforced handles that come all the way down, which is super smart. Yeah, I like that. There is a little zipper on the outside edge. There's a little spot to hang your keys. Super mm -hmm. nice. I love that. Oh, and another pocket here. And it's just love great it. big. Yeah. And um, one that you can make in a day. And she did another one um, in green, which is really cool. I like it. That's cool. And I love the little cutouts. So Let's if you have stuff. this pattern already, or if you don't and you need it, I love the cutout. You need to know that it made the cut for the bag retreat. Yes. So it's one that even for beginners that yeah. we thought that, that she thought that we could make be it a good one. in a day. Mm -hmm. Cute. Love it. Cute, cute. Cool. And she has all kinds of notes here. Rosalie will read the notes and thank you. Super excited. Exciting. Super excited. Okay. All right. All right, so we've got other right. books. Do you want to do uh, Andover? Let's do Andover. I've got three boxes. Great big, huge boxes of Andover. This is box B. Box B. Is there a... There's, it's, uh, this one's three of three, so... <laughs> I, I don't know how they got B in the head box. Box two. B, or also known as number three. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. It's a tuck 
textures. Textures in here. Oh, here's some stripes. Oh, look, look at that, that one. one. Oh. Scribbles. Andover does a lot of modern stuff. I mean, they're also where Edita Sitar um, has her stuff, but this is all very modern. Oh, look yeah. at that. Hmm. Very cool. And then there's some stuff. All right, but there's there. two more boxes of this. So there's possible there's some other other prints, maybe colors. extra color. You never know. Super Love cool. it. You know, gray never Ooh, it's ever juicy goes juice. out of oh, juicy There's juice. something else that goes with this. Mm. I'm quite sure. He's got some cool stuff. And and gray never goes out of style ever. No. Ever. I mean, it was, no. I remember, gosh, it was probably 10 years ago when the new color and everybody was doing gray quilts and we thought, oh, well, whatever happened to orange and lime green? And yeah. it's still, <laughs> it's still a thing. A popular major seller, all of the, um, low volume stuff. So, all right, we're going to open the other two boxes and then we'll take the plastic off. All right. Okay. So once again, our problem that we <laughs> whine about every week is that we order this fabric and then we don't see it for six months. And then it's like, oh yeah. So then we have to go back and search through Victor's. my phone of all of these pictures that I have. And, um, I'm not sure, but uh, I know that there was something that we had planned with it because wait until you see this really cool border. The border is really cool. And I suppose cool. those of you guys that follow these guys on Instagram and Facebook, you probably know what they've been doing with it. Mm -hmm. And we also follow them. I just never look at Instagram. I barely, barely look at Facebook. I've got my hands full with other <laughs> stuff on the... Brianna was teasing me about my World Wide Web. <laughs> I don't know. Let's just look it up on... I let's can't. just look it up. She's like, what do you mean look it up? Look it up where? <laughs> I have to tell you. I have to tell you the interweb. <laughs> what? The oh, www. Yeah, that w -W. What's the address? <laughs> <laughs> I have yeah. to tell you what I did. I got myself in trouble uh, yesterday. And uh, I feel like this is a, one of my little PSA for old people like me. <laughs> so what has happened is somehow... You know that you've been, I mean, I haven't been hacked in terms of a hostile takeover, but yeah. I keep getting emails saying, oh, we're preparing the banking transaction now for you. Oh, Have yeah. you been getting those? Mm -hmm. So I just delete, I don't even open them. It says, oh, no, no, there's no banking transfer happening. And so I just keep delete, 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 delete. Oh, and here is your invoice. Delete, 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 delete. So if I don't see anything, I just keep deleting it. Mm -hmm. Well, so then I got, when I looked through my mail yesterday, I had a oh. pink envelope. Uh-oh. <laughs> And I thought, what uh -oh. did I do? And it was from the city saying that they were shutting off the water for here uh, yesterday. Oh. And I thought, actually, the day before yesterday. And I thought, wait a minute. Why? It's on automatic payment. So I, you know, ring a ding, call her up and say, hey, what the heck? I mean, uh, it's on automatic payment. So, and it goes right out of my banking, uh, my debit card. So I know that you don't need a new expiration date. I yeah. know that there's nothing. So what's happening? And she says, oh, yes, we have been trying to email you. We've been trying to contact you. Um, but they have a new system. So everything has to be oh. re-entered. And I you thought, think on the memo oh. line, CW Freda. This is real. <laughs> it's really us. Not we a have, ma'am. Because yeah, we've even had the Grant County PUD. The sheriff, our the local sh sheriff gets spammed all the time. They're yeah. really good about catching it because they want us to tell them or tag them. Mm -hmm. This is, hey, this is going around that they're, you know, calling people for payment on your bond or whatever or something weird. Yeah. And so the sheriff always is really good about it. On Facebook, though, they put out their PSA of like, hey, we're not coming for you. We're not coming for you. We're not, we're not you'll know it. if we're going yeah. you'll know yeah the PUD one is a good one it's like our guys are on their way right now to shut off your power power but I can power. stop them yeah. your power your power, power. <laughs> <laughs> like, mm, I'm pretty sure they're not pretty sure yeah. but um anyway so um that was me thinking I was deleting all of the bad guys all that I was deleting <laughs> guys so and so she said with the gal that I talked to her name was Leah and um and she goes, yeah, there's a lot. There's, we've got a lot of shut off notices today. And it's I like, said, oh, that's why. They're they're all us old people. <laughs> call us, call us. I'm because not... our kids have told us, don't give anybody. <laughs> don't open it. <laughs> don't open it. And so, sorry, delete, delete. Because I thought, yeah, that's stupid. I don't owe the city of Euphrates. Because it did come, city of Euphrates. It's like, Tch, whatever. <laughs> I pay that. I pay that automatically. <laughs> Tricking me. Yeah. <laughs> As but the then, lights go out. <laughs> oh. Yes. Anyways, we probably have pictures <laughs> of what this is. We cannot tell you. It's I cannot really tell you. Cool it though. is really, really cool because what's really nice is that it's a really cool line of um 
that you could that you could just make kind of a low volume quilt out of and use all of these yeah. pieces. But it's also really really nice supportive pieces. We are not going to cut um, pieces. Pieces. We're not no. going to do half yard and one yard um, bundles or even fat quarters because it's just one of those that is just a constant staple mm -hmm. and you'll want, if there's one that you really like, just get four yards of it or whatever and have yeah. it, you know, for a project. But we wanted to show you, this is the Libs Elliott line that came in. Uh, when Verdi did this? Verdigree? 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 But, Tracy, we have still, we can't say it. Verdigree? Yeah, Verdigree? that's right. Oh, okay. Oh. Verdigree. Um, that looks really, that really good with. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like we're very American sounding out every, American. Of every letter. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, I don't know. Vertigris. This is the Vertigris. Vertigris line. So you can see how it goes yeah. really, really. And again, it's that same very modern aesthetic with um, these really nice modern pieces. And so yeah. kind of cool. So uh, we'll pan across a little bit. And then what we'll do is we'll come back up close and I'll show you. There's, what is there, about maybe, I don't know, nine or ten different um, patterns. Yeah, it looks like it's... Or as some of you say, patterns. Yeah, and it's all the same colors, or different yeah. colors, but... Yeah. I so, think so cool. I love this one. So this one, it's white and patterns. No, I hear that. I, uh, Denise says it. Pattern. Patterns? Yeah. Yeah, Donna Strunt says it. A lot of people. I don't know if it's a southern thing. Pattern. I don't know. I hear it all the time. I never say anything or correct it because it's fairly common. But um, but anyway, um, circles. And so there's on the black background, there's also, I don't know if you can see it. That was why I held up the like black one first. Denim on blue. Yeah. It's, it's a really, really cool. pretty, kind of a stone blue. And then there's a gray, white on gray. And then, I don't know that you're going to be able to see this, but it's white on white. Yeah, we can see And that. it's kind of a bright white on a parchment white. It is gorgeous. Really, really pretty. Only 10 yards of all of these. And then there's this one. What What do you think that it is? It is good it's old scribble right there. Scribble. Scribble and dots. Mm. All of our a Zen Tango bleed. friends. Yeah, a marker bleed. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> and then gray on gray and gray on white. And then I love this one. This, this is just cool. this weird, um, weird dashed line that if you look at this, so this though goes salvage to salvage, which is kind of cool. And it's just... I like the way it ends. I do too. I, mean, I think that would be cool. Drips or something. Yeah. So it is gray on black. It is blue on blue. And then there's this really nice gray on white. I love that. I think it's really, really pretty. And then we've got some dots. Almost, uh, I don't know, leopardy, I don't yeah. know, irregular dots. And same thing on the, in the gray. The oh, light gray. And the, light, and the blue and the light blue. And then these are fun. These are little lines. Again, this looks very zentangly to me. I feel like I would draw this a lot in uh, board meetings. That's pretty fun. I yeah. love this. And it's not even remotely directional, so black on white. And that is a dark blue on a light blue. Cool. Light blue on a dark blue. Like is that, that one hard one. to see? No. And dark gray on a medium gray. Love I feel that. like these look way better in person than what I can see through mm, at least my camera. These are nice. It is. They are really cool. I'm going to move these up out of the way. And then, scribble, scribble dots. Scribble dots, I like them. I do too. I love this one. And there's definitely some ink bleed on those. That's kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> and then... And that's kind of, is that coming out gray? Because it's kind of a like a gray, light blue. Yeah, I feel like that's it's kind, kind of gray. what it is. And then this one is like unique. This is the only one that's like this. Yeah, I don't think we can see it's it. You, it's just weird okay. little scribbly. You know. It looks like almost confetti. Yeah. It's going to, it'll be probably one of the first ones to go. And then, oh, let me get these out of the way. Because you really have to see these borders. Border pieces, which are really cool. So these go, of course, with the salvage. 
So if you are doing mitered borders, and of course what happens is you have four different ones that are about 10 inches so that you can miter your borders all the way around. Or if you're doing like say on the fly or something oh, yeah. like that, that could just be kind of a center piece that would be really cool. But I just love it. I think it's It'd be really also cool. cool to cut this in half right here. Oh. So your border is like this. Oh, yeah. So you have your dark that kind of runs out to your oh, last one. yeah. Or, you know, vice versa. Oh, sure. Split it oh. and make it so it looks like you have a two border tree. Yeah. You have oh, a dark yeah. and then your light or your light then your dark. A lot of options for yeah. a border like this. I think this is really cool. So there's the gray. Oops. I a little crash. And this is more of the medium gray. And then black. I love the black and white one. I love the black and white one. That is awesome. Yeah, see I think that would be a really cool one to split. Yeah. Do a little black border then your big white one or whatever. Yeah. Cut it here. Because yeah. if you did that, you would end up with like five inch borders, right? Because you could do, because you know that this is 10, so you could do five inches, five yeah. inches. Yeah, and you could. Yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah, really fun. All right. All right, we're going to clean this up and then we have some special show and tell. Okay, and just to continue the mom is an idiot joke. So, <laughs> <laughs> texting back, uh, so Kelly Bergeron uh, uh, was telling me that she had just finished Mad Honey. Oh, sure. She thought she knew who did it. And so I was trying to text her back, oh, classic Jodi Picoult. You know, she she leads you down a path where you're pretty sure you figured it out and it's never that person. Sure, sure. Never that person because she's, and you can, you know that it's not that person so you have to think who would you never guess and sure. it's always that person. Uh, Jody has this, uh, and you know, Mad Honey is what we're reading for. Um, book club. For mm -hmm. book club. Anyway, so I was trying to text, I was trying to hurry because we had fabric to move and so I was doing the talk texting. Do you guys do that? Do the little talk texting? I feel like that works really well. Yeah. And then I Unless make the you have of, mom Siri. And, and then yeah, because she's I don't even know what she does. Because <laughs> you heard me telling yeah. you heard me saying, and what I said to Kelly made sense, right? Right. And it was very clear and very English. <laughs> this is what Siri heard. <clears throat> oh, classic Jody Picoult. She wants you to think that, which is why you would always know it wouldn't have never have does that. She <clears throat> makes you think it's less. So I was like, I know him because. <laughs> Like every third word she got. <laughs> and usually she's really good where she'll even pick up my commentary. It's like, wait, bro, just... stop talking. She's still kept, she's still on it. Wait, but wait, no. wait. She got like every third word or yeah. something. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. Only the adjectives. <laughs> she got nothing. Is there a new setting? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. So, Kelly, if you were waiting for those three dots, I'm still working on it. Because I got, I, I don't even she know got, what I said. She's got to start over now. I got to start all the way over. <laughs> I could do it fast. That's so. funny. All right. But we right. do have, um, we should yeah. have a fun little recap first, and then we're going to talk to we have some, some fun show and tell. Oh, I have really fast. I want to show them this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I opened a notion box because it was really big and really light. You guys know what this is? Do you Table know what this runner is? batting. Finally. We've been waiting for months. Mm -hmm. So it's finally in. I don't think I got enough. No. Um, it's 15 yard rolls, or you can buy it by the yard, $3.99 a yard. What's really cool about it um, is it's fusible and only 15 inches wide. So you can really get just the length of your runner. So if you have a 42 inch runner, get a yard and a quarter and Bob's your uncle. You don't have any waste. No waste. It's fantastic. Yes. So um, I don't have enough, but you can get it now. We'll ship it or somebody's yeah. already getting an entire Her bolt. bolt. Oh, yes. so, oh. she, we had a note that she wanted all of it. Mm -hmm. As soon as it came in, she wanted 15 yards. I need it. So I'll have more. Um, I'm going to put it where there's more. I have more on order already because I was pretty sure the four I got because I got four thinking. Is it true? Is it real? Is it really back in? Is it really back in? It's really back in. So I have more on order already. So yeah. you can get whatever you want. If you've got runners waiting for you, whatever you need. But it's really cool. It's 15 inches wide and single-sided fusible. It, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Yeah. Pretty awesome. All right. So we had, um, what did we? The Great Outdoors. Great Outdoors. The cool animal advertisements. I love it. I think Funny. I have to make myself some uh, I'm just gonna grocery bags. Oh, yeah. Uh, a timber would be really good. I don't know. I think a baby bento would be cool too. I think as much as I can just have those cute little advertisements, 
It's pretty I think cute. they're adorable. It's pretty cute. Um, and then we just saw Ink by Juicy Juice, but also check out Verde Grease, whatever that one is, from what a couple weeks ago. Yeah, it's really they really it work perfect really nice together. together. I I feel strongly that we ordered those together. Yeah, I could see yes. that. Yeah, and I do think that when we saw Aaron just a few months ago, so in like eight months from now, we mm -hmm. will see this. Mm -hmm. um, that Libs Elliot and Juicy Juice actually did a collab together. Um, and to mix oh. their artwork because they're very similar super similar so they um, did a collab artwork and we can when we see that in eight months we'll be surprised yeah that we saw it and then what were our other two boxes that we opened oh we opened um, the fun box oh and then the gift box, purse the purse bag retreat yeah. two spots left in the second one yeah super good things yeah and now we have some fun should yeah. I tell this is big are you gonna go to the other side yeah so um, are you here picking up borders did you pick a border I think so I think I did. Look how gorgeous this is. I think we only have a little bit of the fabric left, so don't go crazy. And it's called, but. Um, the fabric is called Peacock Walk. Oh. Um, she did a Stash Buster. And Stash Buster is one of Brianna's most popular patterns. It's just a really easy pattern because it is just some 12 inch squares. I mean, all of your blocks are 12 inch squares, but it can either be these great big solid blocks or there's some four patches. There's some little, um, a uh, rail fence type of um, combination blocks. So it's really good for a beginner that just wants to do some cutting, but we really like it. Uh, Brittany is of course not at all a beginner, but we really like it because it's a really good way just to show off some really pretty fabric. It's all big pieces, goes together in a couple of hours. Just really nice. I love it. Gosh, that's a gorgeous piece of fabric. Yeah. yeah. What a really nice line. Very, very pretty. And this is just the same size that the pattern tells mm -hmm. you uh, without yeah. a border. Yep. 84 by 72. 84 by 72. Fantastic. Awesome. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yeah, it's really nice. I think, I mean, it's my pattern, so I mean, you know, a little bias. Yeah, but really um, it's a really fast quilt to make something big. Yeah. So a wedding quilt. Um, you can make it out of super good tonals, just like Hollywood. You can do it as totally as you want, but it looks cool with it all kind of pieced together. Yeah. All right. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net.